you have arrived with Pepper and her family at Windy Castle. Wow! I've never seen such a big castle. Come on, let's go inside. The view from the top is amazing. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Looking through the telescope makes everything seem closer. Why don't you take some time to look around? Do you recognize this? It's our house. Oh yes, Daddy. I can see my bedroom window from here. That looks like Granny and Grandpa's house. And look, Granny and Grandpa are outside. Do you think they can see us? <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. We are very far away from them. Looking through the telescope makes everything seem closer. Why don't you take some time to look around? Do you recognize this? It's our house. Oh, yes, Daddy. I can see my bedroom window from here. We can keep looking around. That looks like Granny and Grandpa's house. And look, Granny and Grandpa are outside. Do you think they can see us? <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. We're away from them. Oh! Today would be a perfect day to go to the beach. Look, look! I can see Miss Rabbit in her hot air balloon. She must be waiting to take someone to Snowy Mountain. Museum? Dinosaur. <laughs> and there's Snowy Mountain. The view is fantastic. But it seems to be very cold up there. The playgroup. No one's there, though, because it's not playgroup time. Potato City! Can we go, Mummy, please? Of course. Not now, though. We're enjoying Windy Castle today. Mummy! Daddy! Can we come back to Windy Castle soon? Of course, Peppa. I'm glad you had a good time looking through the telescope. I knew you would love it. Windy Castle is a lot of fun. Using the telescope from the top, you can spot many places, even some that are very far away. What should we do now? Let's go this way. This is my daddy. Why don't we 
say hello to him? I heard you planted a seed in Grandpa Pig's garden. Remember to go back there to check if it has grown. <coughs> What's the matter, George? Why are you crying? I'm sore. <coughs> I'm sore. What's that, George? You've lost Mr. Dinosaur. Don't worry. I'm sure it hasn't gone far. Could you have left it outside? George and Pepper need your help to find Mr. Dinosaur. He must be somewhere nearby. We will find it! We're good at finding things. Dinosaur! I can see it! It's stuck in that tree! Next to the muddy puddle. Let's see. Get it down. It seems that Mr. Dinosaur is very high up in the tree. Perhaps they could use the help of someone taller. Follow me. Let's go this way. in the tree? <laughs> How did it ever get there? Let's take a look. Hmm. Perhaps instead of trying to reach it, it will be easier to make him come down to us. And how are we going to do that, Daddy? Don't so. Well, I'm a bit of an expert in these things. <laughs> as simple as that. It worked! Thank you, Daddy. I didn't know dinosaurs could climb trees. Good job. George got Mr. Dinosaur back and everyone is having a great time. <laughs> This is Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? Hello, Peppa's friend. Hello, Grandpa. Peppa, I think we're going to get hungry while we wait for the vegetables to grow. Would you like to have a meal? Mm, yes, please. Splendid. Then why don't you go fetch some eggs from Granny Pig's coop and bring them to the kitchen? 
Grandpa Pig wants you to get some eggs from the chicken coop and take them to the kitchen so he and Granny Pig can cook you a meal. First, let's go to the chicken coop. This way. Hello, children. Hello, Granny. Have you come to check on the chickens? No, no, Granny. Grandpa has sent us to get eggs so we can cook a yummy meal. I see. Why don't you take them yourself? Check inside the little house. Thank you, chicken. Ah, I see you've got some eggs. Now, why don't you take them to the kitchen? I'll go ahead and wait for you there. Granny and Grandpa Pig are waiting for you in the kitchen. Better not make them wait too long. Let's go this way. Go this way. If we go too far, our yummy meal will get cold. Let's meet Granny in the kitchen. with this. Ah, there you are. I hope you're hungry. I am. Are you hungry? We have delicious hard-boiled eggs for you two. Why don't you sit at the table? Mmm, smells delicious. Enjoy your meal, everyone. I'm glad you like it, Peppa. Ah, it's very good! I'm sorry, Polly. I don't think these would be good for you. It's very good! Pig in the garden. Let's go this way. Let's 
Let's go this way. Hello, children. Are you having fun? Yes, Grandpa. We're having a lot of fun. I wonder, do you like aeroplanes? Yes, yes. Fantastic. Why don't you come with me, then? All right. Where are we going, Grandpa? You'll see. Just a moment now. Here we are. Now wait here just a second. Oh dear, where did I do it? Ah, here it is. Ooh, what is this, Grandpa? It's a toy aeroplane. Watch. Wow. Grandpa Pig has built a toy aeroplane. Why don't you try a loop the loop? How to tour around the house. Pepper and Grandpa love toy aeroplanes. Everybody loves toy aeroplanes. Hello, children. Have you come to check on my chickens? Are they all right, Granny Pig? They're more than all right, Peppa. Because you and you brought them back to the coop, their eggs have now hatched. And we have little chicks. <gasps> little chicks? Yes. Do you want to see them? Yes, please, Granny. Show us the little chicks. Take a look for yourselves. They're sleeping in their little house right now. Go ahead. We could go and help. Let's go this way. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Hello, everyone. This is my new friend. Hello. very 
very good. Lovely! It will look great on Pepper's wall. It will look great on Pepper's wall. What a lovely drawing! Why don't you take it and hang it in Pepper's house? What a lovely drawing! Why don't you take it and hang it in Pepper's house? What a lovely drawing! Why don't you take it and hang it in Pepper's house? It will look great on Pepper's wall. Three, two, one. Splendid. Now we go from big to small. Two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Why don't you try it again? One, two, three. This goes from small to big. Very good. Children, today is a very special day. Do you know what day it is? Is it your birthday? No, it's not my birthday, Danny. Anyone else want to guess? How about you? Good guess! Today is Sports Day. Whoa! What is Sports Day? Sports Day is a very important day. Everyone must do sports today so we can all stay. Let's go to the running track. Ooh! All right, children. Start running on my count. Three, two, one. Come on, children! Very good, Peppa. And your friend is very fast. Children, you're almost at the finish line. Finished! Oh, congratulations! You all did a very good job. You all deserve a trophy today, don't you think, Peppa? Susie? Pedro? And you too, of course. Splendid! 
I hope we all learned about the importance of sports today. But can we still run if it's not sports day? Oh, of course. You can always run. Running is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite that old, George. Dinosaur? The throne is my favourite thing in the museum. Let's go this way. sit around all day and eat all <laughs> the ice cream I wanted. It appears that you and Pepper are now royalty and you can have anything you ask for. Is there anything you would like, Your Majesties? Yes. We want ice creams, please. Of course, Queen Pepper. I'm sure you would make a great queen, Pepper. Yes, George, it's a real dinosaur. One that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur. Are you with us, George? Dinosaur. It seems that George has found his favorite room. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, welcome. 
Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train! Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We're about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off. All right, then. Does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one. The Earth. Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth. We also have Venus, Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the Internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you'll see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. has less gravity than the Earth, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher. Whee! Try it out. Strap in and jump up. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please! Take us up in the balloon, or we can keep following the forest trail. Let's go this way. Oh, my, there's rubbish everywhere. Perhaps you should help Pepper clean the forest. Oh, no. 
We should put it in the rubbish bin. Got one. Well done. If we all do our part, it's easy to keep the forest clean. Come to have a lovely picnic in the forest. <laughs> what a wonderful day to have a picnic in the forest. Come on, let's find a nice spot to sit down and have lunch. How about we go that way? This place seems about right, doesn't it? Can I have the basket, Daddy Pig? Oh, um, yes, of course. What's wrong, Daddy Pig? Your face has gone very red. I, um, I think I have left the picnic basket in the car. Oh, no. We will have to go and get it then. Perhaps you and Peppa could head back to the car and bring the basket. Of course, Mummy. We'll be back in no time. Daddy Pig has left the picnic basket in the car. They need you to go back and get it for them. Let's go back to the car and get the picnic basket. Thank you, you two. Let's all take a seat now. Oops! I guess I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Good job. You brought the picnic basket back. And now Peppa's family can enjoy a delicious lunch in the forest. This goes here, this goes there, and voila! <laughs> These sandwiches are delicious, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Why, thank you. How about you? Do you like them? <coughs> what was that? Ducks! What are you doing here? Are you hungry too? <coughs> Mummy, can we give them some food? 
we could, but it seems there's only Daddy's sandwich left. Oh. Daddy, Daddy, we have to give them some food. Oh, <laughs> all right. There you go, ducks. <laughs> I'm full! Well, at least someone is. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you're always a bit full. <laughs> 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 What a lovely spot for camping! Ah, Peppa, I see you and your friend are already here. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa's Peppa. friend. friend. Hello, everybody. Children, children, now that we're here, you need to pitch your tents. And we need someone to collect sticks for the campfire. We'll do it, Madame Gazelle. We'll collect the sticks. Madame Gazelle has asked you to collect sticks so she can build a campfire. Follow Pepper and help her get enough sticks for the campfire. Sticks, sticks, sticks. We need to collect lots of sticks. Got one. I need a few more sticks. Would you get them for me? Excellent job. Now, why don't you pitch your tent while I prepare the campfire? Gather round, children. Who wants to hear a song? Me! 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 me. me. Okay, then. Ooh, we're playing our tune. 